Let f and g be functions that are differentiable everywhere. If g is the inverse function of f, and if g of negative 2 is equal to 5, and f prime of 5 is equal to negative 1 half, then g prime of negative 2 is equal to what? Well, we know that if f and g are inverses, then f of g of x is equal to x. And now we can take the derivative implicitly using, of course, chain rule on the left-hand side. The derivative of f of g is f prime of g of x times the derivative of g of x. And this is equal to the derivative of x, which is just 1, which implies that g prime of x is equal to 1 over f prime of g of x. All right, but we want to find g prime of negative 2. Well, that means that g prime of negative 2 is equal to 1 over f prime of g of negative 2. g of negative 2, they told us, is 5. So this is f prime of 5. And of course, f prime of 5, they gave us as negative 1 half. And so this is 1 over negative 1 half. And 1 over negative 1 half is negative 2. So g of negative 2 is equal to negative 2.